Hello everybody, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I will present you a small project which is developed in Dimpro. Ok, let's go to the screen. And uh, for this program, it's a module pool program and this means we cannot run it from here. And for this I've created a transaction. In this transaction I have set first time to be started the Dimpro number 100 and when we will run this transaction the Dimpro number 100 will run in this Dimpro 100 we can see that we have a module status where we set the status, the title and also a user command when we press something on this Dimpro then we will go through here and accordingly to which button we have pressed we navigate to other screen and this is from a radio button we can go to the element list and to see that this is a radio type and because it's a radio button here if it is select the first radio button we go here if it's select the second one we go here ok and then the Dimpro 110 it's for introducing the data to the table Z professor in the status view we also have the set status and title bar and the user command it's for when we go back we go back to the previous screen when we press add then we will add the data in the database ok and now we can go to the 120 which is for adding a subject in the status output we have the same code in the user command we have also the same code if we press back we go to the previous screen if we press add we insert some data in the database and the dimpro 200 it's for deleting the data from the professor table and here we can see that we create the status and the title bar, but we also in create a ALV grid because just first time it, if the custom container is initial, we create the custom container here. We need to have the same name as it is on the Dimpro because we need to have a container. We have this custom container, okay, but we need to put it. S this name need to be the same when we create the instance ok then we create the ALV grid instance then we call a database a database uh, a data model class method which returns the data from the professor we put it in an internal table here we just call the set table for first display where we can pass the structure name and also a layout this is the selection mode to can select more and we also put on the changing parameter the ITZ prof internal table and when we will press a button to delete the rows then we take the selected rows if you see if it is not initial and if it's not we loop over them and we read from the table the index and accordingly to the index we delete from the database and in the screen 210 we have created the new reference of the ALV grids which is the self table and with this singleton method factory we create the ALV and we just need to pass the internal table here it is if we want to add a new column in the object oriented mode we just take the columns from the self table re reference then we here we set the properties optimize then we can take a specific column from our table and to set an icon a long text medium short and other things of course we can also set a screen status for this um, LV because if we run this LV it means we are in another uh, screen in not in the screen 210 and also we set a handler because when we click 
own uh, function then we want to analyze our event in this class and then we just need to display the table and let's go to the event handler class it's a simple class which has a public section and uh, in the public section I've just created a method on function click for the event edit function of the CL self events table importing the ESL function and then I've implement this class and the method and inside this method I analyzed which button it's pressed and if it is the delete button pressed then I take the selection, the selected route from the selection instance and then I loop over what I have select and I can delete from the internal table and also from the database and then I just make a refresh on the database on the screen 300 we see that we call also uh, LV we create a custom container and then we just create an LV grid we take the data from a table set fuck ok and then which is faculty and then we just pass the structure name and the out tab and we will have something pretty much this is all but we can make also a little debugging when we run our transaction if we press this one and we enter in the transaction by pressing slash h the up we press this button we see that we enter in the team pro event process after input ok we see on which ok code we have pressed ok and then accordingly to this we make a call screen we go to this screen we set here the status and the title and it appears our pop-up we can press back and because we have pressed back we go to the previous screen we can make the same thing also when we press the subject we enter in the debugging mode we enter on this screen 100 on the PAI event we enter in the user command we see which code it was pressed if it is that we call the screen 120 which will be displayed as a pop-up we enter here and we display the title and the status and we have our dim prompt if we go back then we enter in the user in the PA event of this, of this screen then we see which button is pressed and if it is back we go to the previous screen ok if we press the professor and we want to go to the alter table and we also press the slash h then we will go to the dim pro 200 ok and in the dim pro 200 we see that it is our LV grid displayed and if we want to delete this one from example then we can we delete it and let's see if we select if we go to the debugging and we press the delete now we go to the user command 200 we see that it is the delete but now we don't we this table will be empty because we have not nothing select if we had then we have looped over the index we have selected we read from the table and we can also delete here accordingly to the index and we may can also make something to pass to the data model class to to delete also from the database table okay and then we enter again in the output where we see if it is the first time and we don't have the custom container created then we create it also the LV instance we take the professor from the database and then we just call the set table for first display which will display our LV grid we can go back and to select the subject also and by entering in the debugging mode now we go in the PAI of the 100 screen again and we will see that we have pressed the subject in the alter we call the screen 210 
and here we see how the self table is created we call the factory method ok we set some properties in the object oriented way and we set the screen status we set also the event handler and we just displayed our reference and of course if we will ok press F8 I have also put a brain point in the handler class for this uh, self table in the method handler when I select something and I press the delete we will see that we enter in the method handler for this event of this class and if it is delete yes we take the selection this is an object from this object we take the selected rows we loop over what we have select accordingly to the index and we delete from internal table we can also delete from the database and then we just make a simple refresh of, of the data we press F8 and this is all we can also press this button and we will display also an L